Cookie Clue. Sweet. See, it really hasn't hit the northern climates yet. I'm glad we evolved cold resistance. Oh, yeah, here we go. Russia. Russia and Canada. Africa's getting wrecked. Mm -hmm. South America's pretty bad. Clicking all them little DNA points. Severe storms. Let's get a few more points and then we can level some more stuff up. Well, that so severe storms means that they're like paying attention to other stuff. I wonder if we can take advantage of that. Cookie flu killing very fast. The Madagascar. Ooh. -oh. oh man, we gotta do some. Uh, What's that blue ship? Oh, um, it'll make a little thing. We gotta kill it. Plot blue circles to stop the cure speeding up. We didn't get that option last time. Interesting. You'll see it. There it is. Oh, no, no, no. Bottle smasher. Hem internal hemorrhaging system. Is that one of Cookie Flu's symptoms now? It, like, now breaks glassware we in the so lab. Points. We do have so many points. Um, well, wait I think just we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta think... screw up the scientists some more. Let's screw with the scientists some more. There's genetic reshuffle, too, and then what's this other one? Pathogen does not reproduce in lab conditions. Let's do that. I think we should give it another symptom. We can start killing people with comas. Comas also is harder to cure. Where are comas? It's the, you had it, the brain with the X over it. Let's do it. What's this one? That's going to make it so point. severe, but we're also going to kill a ton of people. But maybe transmission. Think? I feel like transmission. Do you ever stream music production? Yeah, Psychotic Man, I streamed music production for six hours earlier today. I think you can watch the, the, the VOD, and I upload some of them to YouTube. All right, this is scary. Let's go. Doing pretty good. They're only 15% of the way to a cure. More than the Black Death. Should we look at the world map and see like how many people are actually infected in these countries? Half the population. Oh, these are borders. Look, 14 borders are shut down. Mm. 15 ports. Let's see if Greenland's doing anything. Business as usual. Ha ah, stop. Would that be a food coma? Wow, they're really uh... Mm. Oh my god, stop. I just read that too, it's so funny. <laughs> Birds. Birds. Yo, what's that one that makes the avian brains turn to mush and also makes them attack everyone? That's the one I just did. Sweet. Whoa! Cookie flu has killed over 120 million people worldwide, worse than Spanish flu. Oh, we got Greenland! Researchers all over the world are doing a cure. Time to genetic reshuffle. Reshuffle them genes. Or antibiotic resistance. We're doing really good on transmission, I think. Mm -hmm. We might as well do the extreme aerosol. It's pretty deadly. Which one? The uh, extreme bio aerosol. Yeah, let's do it. Um, and then now we let's use- just, Oh, look how quickly it's spreading in Russia. 25% <gasps> complete. All right, once it spreads all over Russia and China maybe, we gotta make it very deadly. Yeah. Total, it, oh yes, it developed total organ failure on its own. That's an expensive one. Sweet. Canada's still fine. There's nine people infected in Greenland. Cookie flu is the deadliest plague ever. It's all about killing the people in Greenland. Man, they're hustling on that cure, though.
Uh, immune suppression. That sounds like it will make it more severe, kill people, mm -hmm. and add some mutations we don't have to pay for. Might kill too fast now, I'm wondering if you're right. It's not surpri It's not in tremendously lethal, but what it is doing is not messing with Canada at all. Here's what I think, is I think once Canada has we get it in every country, we need to make it very deadly. Canada just executed a bunch of people that have- Wow, before. Canada knows what's up. So do we do more antibiotic resistance? They're curing it fast. Are they? They're at 46 percent. But it's, it's. But last time they cured it, that really screwed us. Well, when they cure it, I think it like totally means. We do need more resistance. Let's do that one. Bacterial shelves protect against all climates. Oh, I don't know about that. We really need. You know what? Let's put the drug resistance. Let's do more drug resistance. That'll hurt Canada too. Yeah, and then we'll increase its cold tolerance. Botswana is doing the first really to fall good. Arnicale from cookie flu. Canada is doing an admirable job containing cookie flu. Same with Scandinavia. Oh look, the world is like starting to fall apart like the icons. Look, the world's going dark. We're actually taking out a bunch of countries. Yeah, we didn't this do this crazy. last time. We did not do this last time. But look at Canada. It's holding out. It looks like the cold climate. We gotta are. make it more cold loving. We gotta do it. Let's give it some more symptoms too. Or some another transmission mode. Something that's gonna work in Canada. Go to transmission. Um, all we can do is rats. Or blood. If the Canadians are working on a cure and they know it's not bloodborne, we'll blindsight them with that. Will that work? Could. The other option is to make it kill more people. Yeah, but we gotta get into more Canadians. I think you're right. Let's see, I wonder, like, I like how the bugs like a point. Look at those bugs. We've already killed six billion people. Cookie flu has mutated and developed the hemophilia. Hemophilia, symptom. sweet. Canada's doing a real good job. Can Nobody's infected in Canada. Nationwide blood tests. Okay, Canada knows what's up. We gotta, we gotta blindside them somehow. More symptoms. Let's see. Inflammation. Oh, insomnia makes people less yes. productive. Yes, yes. Because they're all working hard on the cure. They've mobilized all of their citizens. Every citizen is a scientist now. There's, it's slow, it's slow cooking. I'm gonna do, do double speed. What can we do? Cookie flu genes manipulated. Scientists have introduced the synthetic genes into cookie flu. Uh oh Who researcher says that this breakthrough will help cure efforts, but. It's all Canada. We got nothing. Oh yes, paranoia. Just enough to do it. Get freaked out, Canadians. True North, strong and free of disease. Norway puts curfews in place. Iceland's holding out pretty well, too. New Zealand bombs infected cities. Whoa. When you know things are bad. All right, let's look at Canada. Nobody's infected. These guys are gonna figure out the cure if we don't stop them. I don't know if we can stop them. Their ports are shut down. I think we might have lost, actually. There are those red dots in there. There are. Norway exterminates all birds. Wow. Um, let's see if there's anything we can do. Man, how did we? We should They're have evolved down. cold tolerance earlier. Mm -hmm. I think we also, I, I made it too scary and people locked down their borders like pretty quick. But see, the thing is like, you gotta make it a little scary. What?
because la well, the very first time, we didn't make it scary at all. It got into everyone, but then they figured out the cure too quick. Maybe the key is focusing on transmission and making it very mutagenic and very um, antibiotic and drug resistant at the beginning. So we don't focus on symptoms at all. We just focus on making it very transmittable and very hard to study and cure. Yeah. So that everyone's infected with it and then, hey Skittles beats. All right, so cookie and then we the kill dead. everyone. Hey Skittles. All right guys, what's our next flu gonna be called? Or virus or? We wanted a scary name and Cookie Blue, although I loved saying it every time, is not a very scary name. What if we go for like a real life virus? What about like Toxoplasmosa, the cat virus? But, but then we'll be scientifically inaccurate when we give it symptoms it doesn't have. Yes, we will. That's why I think we should call it butt pox. Butt pox is the only one that Listen, I Listen, you've already used butt pox. Butt pox killed the whole damn world on the iPad. Butt pox round two? But but pox, pox Mark two. two, Mark two. But pox MK two. It's a genetic weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun already. OBS. Okay. Okay. Does anybody have any tips for rolling cutter? Oh man, I just look at the chat. The chat right now. Rolling Rubber band. Cutter. Ooze. The ooze. The ooze. But ooze. What if we? <laughs> you didn't like that one. All right. Um, what if we started in Africa? Arid climate. Egypt. Egypt. Or Saudi Arabia. Or China. I feel like starting in China will will work. Yeah, starting in a densely populated country seems like a pretty good strategy. This is butt box mark two. Butt so, box to electric boogaloo. Exactly. So, um, what was the plan? The plan was to make it very transmissible, very hard to cure, not give it a lot of symptoms. So it gets everywhere, and nobody has spent any research dollars on it, because who cares? It's just like the cat virus. It's probably in everybody's brain, but nobody gets sick from it. Oh look, now the chat is better. Very transmittable. We'll wait, we'll do rats. You have successfully evolved butt pox, Mark II. Excellent. Let's just focus all of our DNA points on transmission and a few on mutation. Mutation and antibiotic resistance, that is. Do, ooh, a tip, I do want it. Start in India. Take cold resistance as soon as possible. Transmis transmission until many are infected. Then evolve coughing and some symptoms. Then make sure you got enough points for the heart failure thingy. That's pretty good. So wait, we're in China, so we're close to India. Cold resistance. Yeah, we do want cold resistance. Did we want coughing? What I did win, it was because it had coughing. Oh, it was gonna tell me something. Thousands infected, okay, great. All right, abilities. I'm trying cold resistance. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah, only takes a few points. Because we waited a long time to evolve that, and that's why Canada didn't get it. Now we just want to try to make it as transmittable as possible. Let's work on transmission then. Airborne. Yeah, especially coming in out of China. I love how the little bug gets all buggy. Butt box spreads to Pakistan. Butt box mark two. <laughs> <laughs> Anemia. All right, it has now, a symptom. Let's not. Let's not. Now we can turn symptoms off that it makes. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can devolve it, and I think you're supposed to, because I know I involved coughing and 
with nausea at the same time, and it invented projectile vomiting, and then everybody freaked out. Hey, it's Douche. 